Alright, getting the grand finals here. Uh, it kind of did show up there for a little bit, so I was a little worried we weren't going to get to see this, but they showed up. Now, Gav's rocking the Ganondorf. He said his secret Young Link counter pick. Nikana rocking the default Young Link. Now, the Gav's Ganon's like a t terrifying because this man's super good. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's going for the big swing. This is gonna be funny. I, I'm not even gonna try and commentate this seriously. It's gonna be sick. I'm ready. Yeah, it's so funny to watch. Oh my lord, please. Okay, so like, I guess I'll be a little serious, but like, for real, Ikana, like, with the Young Link, is definitely gonna be hard for Gabs to deal with because his combo game is pretty sick. Earlier he said his movement was kind of crusty, and I don't really agree with that. I think his move is pretty nice, especially for like Wi Fi. I can only imagine how this man is offline. Ooh, goes for that rapid jab. It cancels it out with the bomb, actually, to kind of get the no lag on it. Ooh, I think he gimped him. Oh, no, he made it back. Again, an OB goes deceptively far. Contrary to what they have you believe. Goes for that drag down fair to down tilt, but doesn't quite get it. Ooh, getting scary. That offstage game of Ganondorf actually pretty terrifying against Young Link. <laughs> Just goes for triple jab, and... Kinda sitting in shield, was not ready to deal with it. Ooh. Now, like, he kind of sitting at 160 somehow. <laughs> Gabs is sitting at 128, but this could be it. Yeah, definitely gonna be it right there. Kind of taking the first stock, sitting at 160 percent. How we really don't know, but Dad's taking a take here right there. Gabs waiting him out. Knew he was gonna pick an option out of shield right there. Ooh, this is going to look a little rough, though. He's going to get a big combo off of this, but the bomb interrupting it early. Ooh, goes for that fire arrow. Goes for the nares. Gets beat out by that uh, down B right there. The mega bus coming through. Goes for that again. Like, honestly, it's not really that good of a zone breaker, but it's better than nothing. Since <laughs> it's really all Ganon has. Gab's using it to full effect though, kind of weaving under those projectiles as they come out, but that double fair gonna put him off the stage again. Ooh, bringing down the hammer arm on him though. Goes for that up air, try to beat out a jump. Gab's walling him out right there, that F2 gonna take it. The lead now. Goes for that down B, breaking the zone here. He's going for that nair, but this could be not it actually. The up smash will take it though, good frame trap on Akana's part. No, and Ganon really didn't have much of an option other than to just get hit by something there. Pick your poison, if you will, but, uh, that be double nair right there. Goes with the dash attack, doesn't quite get it. Maybe he wanted to down tilt or something, I don't really know. <laughs> just trying to zone him out a little bit. You hammer arm. This could be good. He's got to be careful. He doesn't quite get the spike. Mistimes it barely. Bringing it down again. Goes with that dare. Ooh, that S smash super unsafe on shield. Got to put him in a bad spot above Young Link, which is where you do not want to be as Ganondorf. You do not have the landing options to deal with this character being underneath you. Goes to that ledge. Hit him with the down B again. That bomb setting up the wall. Ooh, they're out of shield. Goes to that down B again. Goes to that dash attack. Ooh, a little bit of a miscalculation on the Kona's part right there. He kind of got caught in a panic situation. Gab's taking full advantage of it with that F tilt. Gonna take game one with the Ganondorf. Yeah, Gaz wasn't lying, man. Uh, I know his Ganon was kind of cracked. <laughs> the secret Young Link counter pick. Could see the reset happen. Uh, Gab's being a loser side, actually losing to Econa in winner's quarters, I believe. Just outside of top eight. Econa <laughs> kind of grossly underseated on my part, but uh, definitely wasn't expecting this to happen, if I'm going to be honest with you. 
kind of kind of going off. Like, kind of was like way better looking than they looked on the results. I don't know. Maybe I just mislooked at the results, but they're rolling into that up smash shielding in time. Gab's kind of mistiming it there, but still, Gab's this whole like game plan with Ganon is just like fear. He wants to put the fear into you, you know, which is like a good way to play Ganon in general because that's basically all you have. Especially in a matchup like this. Ooh, bomb fair, hitting him with the tink. Getting in that fair again. This could be a good edge guard opportunity then there. Putting him farther off stage. Yeah, not gonna make it back. Good stuff to Connor right here. And she goes way back into this game right here. Gets that down through up air. Doesn't go for the grab immediately out of it. Gav's trying to spot dodge, charge a smash attack on him. We'll get that there. Goes for that boomerang to cover the tech option. He's walling him out with these F-tilts right now. He's got to be careful. Gaps is not afraid to press another button after he lands with something. <clears throat> when Akana catches onto that, I feel like it's going to be like a hard punish every time. Making it back. Down beats past the pressure. Ooh, fastball there. I kind of felt that one coming. Gabs did not, however. Ooh, goes for that grab. Is see, like, Fair is deceptively safe on shield as Ganondorf. Ooh, scary situation. Yeah, rolls behind, gets caught by that down smash. You kind of need to get up, attack that. But you also got to be careful, though, because when you can't tech the side B, he can jump up and dare get up attacks. Really all comes down to a read and Gabs. Reading the book right there. Goes for the down air. Jesus Christ, trying to read this man's soul right now. Not really doing anything right there. No, he gets the grab. Goes for that back air. Tries to cover attack option with the boomerang. Doesn't quite get it. Ooh. Up smash. Not quite taking it. He's at 100%. Ooh, big damage possibly. Combo coming through with that back air. Dude, Kana is like moving on this man right now. He can't do much about it. Poor Ganon just like does not have the options to contest Yink's movement. Ooh, down are going to take it though. Yep. Yeah. Strong, strong move. Sending upward, though. It's not something you would really expect to come from a move. Called down air, but you know. The game works in a weird way sometimes. Game 2 going to Ikana. This could be pretty back and forth set, honestly. Ikana looking like he's got the read on the Ganondorf now. Now, I know Gab said he was pulling the Ganon out for the matchup, but I do know Gab's plays like three or four other characters, like pretty good, so. I wouldn't be surprised if we see more character switches around. Maybe not this next game, but the game after. I would say. If he loses game uh, 3, I could see a character switch. So I know he has like a Mi Sword Fighter. I think he played Roy once. Or I might be crazy. No. I don't. Did he play Roy? He probably he probably has a Roy. I don't know, man. He plays like all kinds of characters. He had like a Me Sword Fighter. He had a Ganon. <coughs> has a Game and Watch. Sticking it out with the Ganon. See what stage we go to. Um, yeah, again, this matchup, especially since Ikana's kind of getting the read on the Ganon a little bit here, um, it's going to get harder and harder the farther the set goes, honestly, because like Ikana is a very, very adaptive player. Yeah, see, like, it, just big combos in general are just so hard. Drag down, this is it. Ooh, not it, actually. Ganon, a thick boy. <laughs> Trading with the B right there. Ooh, a bit of a miss input right there on his part. Kind of a miss spacing on that fair. This could be big damage. Ooh, Ikana was firmly in the lead before, but now it's starting to catch back up with him. One little loss has put him this far behind again, and he's like a truck, man. Ooh, sick wave bounce right there, trying to catch him slipping, but he didn't quite get it. Dash attack gonna put him off that stage. Dash attack is a pretty good, quick little burst option to cover like a, a frame trap situations. Not really like super great in the other regards because it's pretty laggy, but <laughs> hammer arm putting him way off the side there. Oh, that's probably it, yeah. 
They're a little overzealous. He should have realized Young Link does not have the kind of lag he was thinking he did right there. Big combo probably coming in at that turnaround back here. Nair out of shield. Try to cover that get up with the uh, fire arrow. Zer. I feel like you don't see a lot of Zer usage in a lot of Young Links. Last hit of the upbeat saving his life there. Life flashing before his eyes. That dare was coming out. Ooh, get that fade back. Spacing him out. Ikana doing superbly well on the spacing right now. Staying just outside again in threat range. Definitely what he needs right now. Ooh, a little bit of a scary situation. If he went above the ledge right there, it was probably over on his part. Ooh, but that fire air affair. Gonna take it. Not looking so hot for Gabs right now. Down three stocks to one. But uh, gonna take that stock with the dash attack, so could definitely bring it back right now. Never sleep on the Gabs Ganondorf, man. This guy definitely not someone to be sleeping on. But Kana putting on that sleeping cap right now. He don't care. He don't care. You were ranked like what third? I think on the last PR. I think he was third. Ikana come to play, boy, but oh, Gab's shutting him down with that down air. Read that Zare to ledge. Ooh, Ikana kind of going in a little bit. A little shook after that, I feels like. How can you not be? Man just stomps you into oblivion. Ooh, double jump fair. Or not fair, Nair. Ooh, Gab's is getting a little antsy on this. He's got to remember, play it safe. Play it cautious. Put the fear into him. Can't be going hard like that against Young Link. Young Link is going to go hard back. Ooh. Down air sending him, or down throw sending him too far away with that Nair to follow up. Uh, try to cover the jump with that, but he's, oh my god, that covered the whole platform. Jesus Christ. Goes for that down air. Doesn't quite kill yet, though. 167 right now. Ganondorf. Thick man, but a little too thick. Getting sliced up by that forward air right there. Finally chopped. Ikana going up 2-1 right now in Grand Finals against Gabs. I feel like we're going to see a switch of character from Gabs. Uh, I don't know. It depends on how dedicated he is to the Ganon pick. If he's dedicated to the Ganon pick, I can see him just sticking it out and playing it. But if he really, really wants to try and win this, we might see the Game & Watch come back out. I don't know. I don't know how that matchup goes. He'll know more than me. He's the Game & Watch player. Apparently, Kana has to go do something real quick, so uh, that's going to be a few minutes. Uh, normally, I don't like when that happens, but I mean, I'm going to let it slide. It's like Grands, I really could care less, honestly. Kana's been pretty sick, too. Pretty chill. I really like when the good players come and talk in the server that are like new. Because uh, it's always cool to interact with new people coming out to the tourney, enjoying it, having a good time. It'd be really cool if Ikana won their first tourney that they've entered. <clears throat> I mean, be winning a tourney over third best on the PR from last season is definitely like nothing to sneeze at, man. Super clean. But he hasn't even got to play against people like Hummus and Ben yet. Or even like Ken and Red. Ken and Red would have been like another. Uh, top three on the PR if he would have entered enough stuff. He entered like three or something, just one short. Ben, of course, being first on the PR, won like literally every event he entered except for two, I believe, and one of them was like a loss to like OG Mustang and Nality, who's like the best player in uh, Ecuador, I believe, or something. Uh, they're back, nice. Yeah, um... And then the other one he actually lost to, uh... Sobo King. That was the other one he lost to. And Sobo King would be a really good... 
player for Ikona to fight, I would be a really interesting one, but Zobo King's not, like, super active. Zobo King entered, like, one event <laughs> and won it and then hasn't showed back up since. It's kind of hard to convince him to come back. I don't think he really does a whole lot of Wi-Fi brackets. Pretty good minion player, though. Uh, and then, of course, Hummus. I don't know where Hummus was this week. Probably had something else to do. Super clean raw player. Our most consistent tournament winner. Literally won every event they entered that Ben wasn't in and also in attendance of. Yo, switching the color up on us. Going with the, the Shrek green. The get out of my swamp. He's still getting bodied. He's getting out of Youngling Swamp right now. Ooh, hammer on bringing that 22.6% on him. F tilt. Ooh, he's going hard. Going ham, but is it going to pay off? As Young Link has him off stage right now. Let's get a little worried. Down B breaking through with that Mega Bus. So the S Smash going to read the roll on with it. Taking the first stock. After getting body there for a while. Gets trying to get that bomb fair. Doesn't quite get it. Fast falls that fair. Yeah, Kana is good, really good with that spacing on the fair to make it like as safe as possible. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Gaz is just throwing the moves at man. Going with that fair, doesn't quite get it. Getting too big. <laughs> it snipes him with that fire arrow. Uh oh, that's scary. Gotta watch, watch yourself here. That last hit up, he saved him there. That was definitely a dare coming out <coughs> on uh, Gaz's part. Ooh, that fair wasn't quite as safe as it looked. Gets scooped up with that grab and F thrown. Up smash gonna read that jump over. Oh please no, dude. Put the fear in him. Gabs showing he didn't care. He's just gonna charge that up smash. He knew he was gonna have to press a button and get out of there. Like I guess like he's catching on to Econa's all like habit of like not wanting to roll out of shield, it seems like he wants to jump a lot. And Ikana kind of like realizing, oh, he wants me to jump, but I'll just sit here. But, you know, him charging a smash attack as Ganon is probably grounds from breaking your shield. Like, quite easily. <laughs> easily bringing this back, though, he still has not taken any percent on his last stock. If he can get this kill right now, yeah, there we go. Now we're one to one, even percentages. Very easy to do. For Ikana, but not like that. He's eating 49% right off the bat with that dash attack up smash. Oh, Jesus Christ, another up smash. He's at 92 right now. He's just up smashing like a madman. Gavis just knows he's going to be in the air. Like He's just like, why bother even pressing another move when I can just up smash? I know you're going to be there. Beating him out with that forward air right there. Going to take game four. Taking us to game five. Yeah, the Ganon color counter pick seemed to be working out for Gabs there. He felt super in control that whole match. Ikana's gonna have to work hard for this last game here. back. Same characters and everything. Gab's running it through with the Gen in all five games. I respect it. Gab's usually switches around quite a bit, actually. Like, he'll switch characters sometimes. He's been going, like, one character for full sets, it seems like, recently. Which is, like, respectable. Going down through an air. Ooh. <gasps> Did he footstool him? Oh my god, no way. Dude, I think he footstooled him. That's so unfortunate for Ikana. Gabs is gonna sit on that ledge like a degenerate. <laughs> oh god, it's getting hard, dude. Gabs is going in. Gabs has so much momentum right now. He's not taking a single percent. Okay, never mind. Commentator's curse. Jesus Christ, Econo was getting bodied for like a solid 30 seconds here. And he's already down, almost down two stocks within 30 seconds. Gets that drag down fair. Doesn't get a down tilt after. <gasps> Jesus, that was scary. Pops out, doesn't quite get the hitbox he was looking for. Oh, this is it. Oh, it's not it. Good stuff, dude. Gabs is feeling himself going for that warlock punch. Ooh, no. But, 
Kana overextending a little bit. This could mean a stock right here. If he's not careful, it definitely will. That last hit in there, coming through clutch. Gabs need to watch himself a little bit, though. He definitely doesn't need to be jumping like that. Ooh, it wasn't safe enough on shield. So he knows he's going to jump off the ledge like every time. He just sits in the back and waits. Ooh, but that could be it, though, Barry. Ooh, it goes for the fair. He reads the DI away, but doesn't quite get it. Aerodot is out just in time. Good stuff to Gabs. Going for that Nair again. Oh, my lord, please. Okay, yeah. You gotta be careful about jumping back in against Ganondorf because that's what he wants. Down the last stock again. This could be it. Winner of this next stock either gets another chance to run back in Grand's reset or wins the tournament. Ikana looking to win right here. Gabs they're gonna get that run back in the reset. Oh lordy, the Kana's going hard. He does not want to give it up yet. He does not want to have to play a reset right now. I don't blame him. Playing a reset right now is like nerve wracking. It's so hard. Ooh, but that fair? Not gonna take it. Gas barely living. <gasps> that bomb. That bomb sniped him out of his down B. That's actually gonna take it. Akana wins the tournament. 3 2. Wow, I can't believe that bomb gimped him like that. That's actually so crazy. Good stuff to Connor for coming out. That was like insane play. I really love to see it, man. Good stuff to Gas for making that run back through losers, but falling again to Connor in Grand Finals.